So something that's been appearing in my timeline quite a lot recently is requests of how to create a teacher planner in OneNote that you can be able to use across OneNote and Teams to be able to schedule your lessons and plan the work for your classes in the coming academic year. So this is a very basic one that I would make. I use PowerPoint uh, for a lot of my creativity uh, and then I import that as PDFs or images into OneNote. So here I'm gonna start off with a very simple PowerPoint, create a new PowerPoint, reshape the page to an A4 portrait size. And again, you can do all kinds of worksheets and uh, booklets based on shaping that to your A4 size that you want. I'm going to insert a very simple table using the table format and I'm going to reformat these boxes according to the amount of lessons that I have in my daily schedule. So here I'm going to add or remove according to the number of classes I have for a particular lesson and it really is the same way that you would create a table for anything. You're able to use the formatting, the prompted uh, color schedules and so on and that's a really quick easy way to be able to set up uh, the basic kind of skeleton or template of your planner. And it really is just a case of spending a little bit of time getting it to the exact measurements you want. I tend to have three columns, one column telling classes, one column for a general description of the planning and one column for homework. And I'm able to use that, the text function, to be able to set up the labels for each of those uh, cells. And I'm able to center the text right in the middle and reshape uh, the text and font exactly how I want it. And so I fill out my classes according to my timetable. And then I want to color code each of the classes. I like to have every class having a particular color uh, for me to be able to identify very quickly uh, and even to introduce some of the patterns and textures and gradients that go with that just to bring that timetable to life. I'm going to save that as a PDF very quickly. And then I have a general planner team set up for myself really to test out elements that are introduced through teams and within that I keep my planner OneNote set up and so I'm going to open this directly into the OneNote app and here I'm going to import that PDF that I just created uh, my weekly planner and very simply I print as an inserted image into the OneNote uh, desktop version and I should very quickly have it ready to go I'm going to change my title to the date of each week. I'm going to set up a template and just copy and paste that several times over for each week of the year and that saves me having to duplicate or create work for myself. And I'm just going to create this according to the dates, the first date uh, of a Monday of each week and I'm able to use the calendar even to set that up for myself uh, in the OneNote. So I select the day, uh, first week of teaching for each week and I'm going to create one of those for each week of the academic year. Then I'm able to use all the functions that are in uh, OneNote. I'm able to use uh, the checklist, the to-do list. I'm able to use all of the tags that I normally would uh, incorporate that within my planning. So it's a really good way, really quick way of setting yourself uh, tags and to-do lists for your classes. And again, you just set up your text box and push it over to exactly the way you want. One of the key things you do need to do is just make sure that when you've printed that, a PDF template that you right click and you insert it uh, as an image in the background and that allow you to type over it. And then the beauty of this is I can open that uh, OneNote on my phone. I'm able to see all my planning for the day. I'm able to very quickly add in notes. I'm able to add in more of those to-do lists on the mobile phone. And I'm able to record voice messages and insert images off to the side. The only problem is gonna be trying to capture as much of that as possible. And wouldn't it be great if you're able to look at your planner across a two screen device in a Surface Duo.